Hi guys, and welcome to the new guitar lessons today. So today we're learning new chords. So last time we were learning A, E, and D. So we were learning them, and we were learning the basses from them, and we were learning rhythm and how to start a bit with the fingers. So the same is gonna be today. Today we're gonna learn three new ones. So you'll see, and it's gonna be C, F, and G. F is gonna be two versions. I'm gonna explain you why and everything. So let's start. What can I tell you? So uh, so far you were learning the three chords. You had the blues and you got the one, two, three, four lesson. So far, if you didn't see the rest of the videos, check them out step by step, one by one, and it's gonna lead you to this one. Okay, so hope you practice good with the last ones. And it's gonna go all good and great. So we're gonna give you new ones. If you have any questions in general, just ask me on the site here or just go to my Facebook site. Uh, it's gonna be just my name, so uh, Dejan Maric, D E J A N M A R I C. Facebook, you're gonna see we got I got a site. So, same thing, same questions, same everything. If you need anything, just text me there. Okay, so the first chord is gonna be C today. So, we're gonna need Fingers one, two, and three. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, on the fifth string, on the first fret, so one, two, three, four, five. Or the second, when you go down, one, two, we put finger number one. Finger number two, we're gonna put here on the second fret on the third string. Finger number three, we're gonna put on the second string on the third fret. So this is C. The base for C is where the finger number three is. So the first string we don't play at all. So like every chord so far, you need to check them first. So check one by one. The thing that's gonna pull you a bit here and probably gonna be a bit hard is probably the last string is gonna be like this so if you hear this 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 nanny string it's not good that means or you're not holding the chord properly so the finger is not good so the finger has to be positioned in the middle of the fret you need to hold it a bit tighter so that can be a danger and the second danger if you don't hear the last string what I told you between strings and the, between the finger and the fret it's always like a finger in between so that's why my whole finger literally like this see and go there so that's the thing it needs to be a bit of space there so every time when you have space to just put you just probably need to put the fingers a bit up like this then you're gonna have the fret clear so let's check the fret check everything check every string by string is everything good so that's C. The next chord that we're gonna try is G. So first part we're gonna just put the rhythm and after that we're gonna go uh, chord by chord we're gonna go with the finger. So first we're gonna do the rhythm. So this is C and the next is gonna be G. For G we're gonna have one, two, three finger again. So finger number one, we're gonna put on the second string on the second fret. Finger number two, it's gonna be on the third string, on the first string, on the third fret, pardon. And finger number three is gonna be on the first down string, or sixth, however you want, on the third fret. So now check every you're gonna have to check every string so the first string that's the bass so check everything so we're doing everything with a pick if you forgot or you don't know how to use a pick then check on my second video Okay, now 
we have C and now we have G, right? So now we're gonna go step by step to do the rhythm. So we're gonna do the same like with the first chords. Up, down, up, down, easy. So you have time, let the tone, let everything go. Easy, step by step, always go slower, too faster. Don't go too fast because you're just wasting time, guys. So we're gonna go C, then G, and C back again, and G back again. So up, down, up, down. So you go both because you're gonna practice C and G, so you need to practice G back to C together again. That's the thing. So C to G now. So slow. Leave the tone. You have to put the fingers back to C. C to G so I told you always leave the tone leave the bit of space for yourselves to put the chord correctly in its place so always go step by step easy look at the left look at the right hand always do easy steps don't go too fast if you see it's a bit harder and everything goes slower slower even if you need to be really slow leave the tone leave everything and slowly Get the speed when you're doing everything correctly the main thing is to do everything correct okay now we got C and G right third chord that we're gonna do is F chord so I'm gonna do two versions of it so one version is if the first so I'm gonna do the first version tell you why then the second version if the first one is a bit hard for you guys so I'm gonna do one version that's you know usually uh, people are not using it but I'm using it so the bar chords later are a bit easier so I'm going to show you why so this is what we're going to do we're going to need all four fingers now so we're going to put the first finger on the second string from down or fifth if you want like this and the first fret so on the second string first is clear and on the second number two finger it's going to be on the fourth string from here one two three four on the second fret now it's important number three finger goes on the second string on the third fret number four finger goes on the third fret just down on the on the third string so third string third fret number four number three is above on the second string okay the bass for this F is this, so the second string, that's the, that's the bass. So again, what I told you, always in the end, I'm going to show you the chords, how they look like. I wrote them and everything, always write the chords and everything, so it's going to be easier for you to follow, so you don't forget them. So this one's going to be a bit harder, but I'm going to tell you why I use this one, because later when you're doing the bar chords, the bar chords are just a finger like this. So your fingers, so these three fingers get a bit used to the position. That's why I'm doing these. So this is F. So again, check everything. So these two fingers are gonna make a bit of commotion for you guys, it's gonna be a bit harder. So just try, try to get this position, just step by step, easy. Don't need to rush with it. Again, main thing is gonna be the last string to be clear. So see, again, whole fingers going, that's the thing. So the last string that you hear, that's why. If you didn't put the fingers right, so you need to put them a bit up. So that's gonna be the first step. If this one's hard, I'm going to show you the next one. So the next one, you put the finger number two and you're going to squeeze the last two strings here. So see, let's squeeze them. Finger number two is going to be so on the fourth string on the second fret. Finger number three is going to be here 
on third fret, third string. <laughs> This one's it. This one is just in case the first step is a bit harder. That's why. Okay. So we're gonna do with the first step now. First F and C. So we're gonna do up, down, up, down, and just follow my fingers how it goes easy. So C. I'm just gonna move when I do the C. I'm gonna move this finger and just get this one up. So it's gonna be easier like that. So okay. F to C. So I told you, try to use these two first. If this is hard, just do thumb however you want. I always recommend these two. So again, we go from the bass string down, and we, we, we come to the fifth string here, then the last three we're gonna do with the other finger. So just the last three back, so we do. Let's say we're gonna start G and C. So G, the first string, is the bass. We're gonna come to the fifth string with the thumb, and then the last three with the second finger. Okay. So just go. So F, the basses of the second string, we're gonna do F and G. this so you get a bit used so this thing is just to get used to with the fingers just to do a bit with the fingers to work with the fingers a bit so that's the whole point with the fingers that's what I'm telling you do the rhythm do the fingers so you get to build a bit the grip with the fingers that's the thing so I told you in the lab in the previous lessons that I'm gonna show you when you write the chords how should it look like so here I'm gonna show you again so here you go, the four chords that we're learning today. So as you can see, we got G, we got C, we got two types of F. Again, the X line is marking the ones that you shouldn't do at all. See, this line's a bit more, and it's showing you the bass. So that's from which finger, which string you should start. If you don't know how to read this, Go on lesson number three, it's showing you everything. Okay guys, so that's it for today. Hope you learned something and everything. What can I tell you? If you have any questions, just go on my site or just question me here. And that's that. What can I tell you? Have a nice day guys, enjoy.